Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alondra and I am on a weight loss journey. Whatever it is that brought you here, I appreciate you clicking on this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so below and please leave a big like underneath. It really helps me out. So today I have for you guys a couple things that I did that helped contribute to my weight loss. I feel like a lot of the times when we see videos on like tips and tricks on like what people did to lose weight and stuff, it usually has to do with diet. Whether it's like time frames that you should be eating, like intermittent fasting diets, like not eating past six, that or like certain types of foods that you should be eating, certain types of foods you should be staying away from. Although all that stuff is very, very, very helpful, I feel like a lot of the times when we are listening to people talk about their weight loss journeys, we really want to know what is it that you did different to change too because that is really what got us here is just making these tiny little differences in our lives because not only is this just a weight loss journey just to lose weight for me personally it was about growth it was about being somebody new it was about actually making a difference in my lifestyle huge disclaimer before we begin i do not claim to know that any of this proves that it makes you lose weight it's not guaranteed these are just things that helped me and that i noticed made a difference in my weight loss so without further ado let's get right into the video all right you guys the first thing i did is join facebook communities I know it can be a little scary to put yourself out there when you join Facebook communities, especially when you're posting like pictures like before and afters, it can be really difficult. But I promise you when you join the right spaces, it is so, so encouraging. It's so positive and so powerful to the way that it can change your mindset. I have been a part of a couple different ones. I joined um, Fit With Mari's community a couple years ago when I found her. I joined recently Grow With Joe's Unified community. I think that's the name of it. Um, I'm going to link the communities down below in case you guys want to check them out or join them. And then I have also joined like just a regular, just the Facebook all in general, like women's workout, like space basically <laughs> my experience with these communities has been so positive and so uplifting like i said anytime that even when i was going to the gym like in person um i would have a question about a certain machine and people would get back to me within like seconds it was just so awesome to have people from all over the world that all have the same goal to better themselves like be at a moment's notice to be able to answer things for you and in case you have questions or in case you even need a little bit of encouragement every once in a while to remind that yourself that you're on the right track. It's just super helpful. It really made me feel so, so welcomed and it's just so encouraging, like I said. So the next thing I did was I stopped forcing stereotypical breakfast. Yes, breakfast is super essential. You should have something to get you moving. You do definitely need energy to go out and about your day. It, I am not saying anybody should ever skip breakfast or go out on an empty stomach it's just not realistic and it's not doing any good to your body when you're not eating at all in the mornings but what i mean by stereotypical breakfast is like as healthy as eggs and spinach are as healthy as like oatmeal is and stuff like that i just realized that myself just me from my personal experience i am not breakfast person i'm just not so examples of things that i actually mean by just something to hold you or for something to give you energy throughout the day is for example when i was consistently doing joe's workouts in the morning before work and then walking out about my days what would hold me was like i would take a yogurt like a, a high protein yogurt and like a cheese string to work because that was enough for me to get through my shift just because i work part-time now if you work full-time or longer hours it is important for you to take a lunch of some sort for my work it was easy for me to just take that go out throughout the day and then get out of work and go home and make my lunch at home and i would take granola bars all, all the time as a snack to be able to munch on at work in case i did get hungry i was not starving myself you guys it was just what i knew that my body wanted and felt good eating but if you are a breakfast person and you just love breakfast and you feel good and you feel that you are you do need a little bit more to feel more energy throughout the day by all means please please eat your breakfast please listen to your body do what your body asks again this is just what my body feels good doing so this is what i was doing all right so the third thing that i did was 
start moving. I realized that not only was movement contributing to my weight loss, it was just helping me overall feel better. Like my body felt like I could do more. I could bend down without my knees hurting more. I just felt like I was more mobile. Our bodies crave movement. Over the years, especially as you're growing older, it's important to get up and walk around and move around, go on walks. If you're at the mall or something, take the stairs instead. It just helps to get some movement in. By the simplest things at work, just get up and walk around more often or just get up and do a quick stretch in the mornings. Again, as we're growing older, our bodies crave movement more and more because that that can lead to our muscles stiffening and back aches. And without realizing it, we're doing more damage to our body by not moving. So the next thing that I did is that I adopted a physically active hobby. So for me, it was roller skating. And we can get into how I started and all that in a different video. But I basically adapted the hobby. And at first, I was really, really bad. And over time, I just wanted to get better. I wasn't doing it because I wanted to lose weight. I was doing it because I really just wanted wanted to learn how to roller skate. I just wanted to have a different hobby to get me out of the house. Like I said, I was starting to want to move a little bit more. So over time I got better and as I was losing the weight throughout the time I started realizing that roller skating just became easier. I could do more, I could move more, I could control my breathing more as I was skating, I could do a little bit more movements with my legs and it just became so much easier to do this hobby that I genuinely loved and enjoyed. But again, at the time that I was like, being super active during the summer i was roller skating a lot so i know that that definitely contributed to my weight loss so the next thing i did and this is the only one that's really gonna have to do with food um is that i just switched out a couple things that i already loved and ate for just the same type of thing tasted exactly like it that had less calories or more protein or just whatever benefited me like for example I am a huge tortilla eater. I love me some enchiladas. I love making chorizo tacos. They're my favorites. And quesadillas and all kinds of things that have to do with tortillas. But we all know that tortillas can be very high in calorie and is not very ideal for weight loss. So I found these Guerrero, the Guerrero 25 calorie tortillas at El Super and I was hooked immediately i bought one packet to try them out and then went back for more and more and every time i go now i buy two because i run out of them <laughs> they're they're like maybe this i want to say this big but it works i promise it, it makes everything taste so so much better because the guilt is 100 percent gone i don't even have to think about it it's just my regular food meal right then and there you know that's one thing I could go more into depth. Like another one is ice cream. Ooh, oh my God, we need to talk about ice cream. But I'll save that for a different video. But yeah, that's something that definitely did help. Okay, and then the next thing that I did was I got an inexpensive fitness watch. So my boyfriend actually got me this for our anniversary, but it is the best thing that I've ever received. It's helped me so, so much throughout this. Like. I remember telling him like I, when I was looking into them, I was like, damn, I really feel like it would help me so much to, because a person like me, I need to see numbers or I need to be able to like track things to really track my progress or like feel that I'm making progress. This watch was only 40 bucks. It was off of Amazon. It looks like this. I'm trying to show you. Yeah. So basically I press a little button, you track your steps down here and then like more. And then if I want to like track like my workouts just like the apple watches i know you could track your workouts but ours look like this it's like the little sport dude and then you track whatever workout that you're doing usually i put walks or um when i would go roller skating i would put um spinning and then they even have like workout for weightlifting and stuff oh it even has a little hiking mode i do receive text messages i cannot respond to them i do receive calls i can't answer them either but i can hang up on them <laughs> which is pretty helpful for me honestly i get a lot of spam calls obviously it doesn't come with like all the fancy schmancy things that like the apple watches come with and the fitbit watches come with but it does pretty darn well and it definitely keeps me motivated it's super super affordable if you have the money for it i suggest to invest in one it is so helpful and it has just helped me feel super good whenever it like buzzes when i've hit 10,000 steps and stuff it's just a little accomplishment for me 
So the next thing I did was that I stayed in a calorie deficit using my fitness pal. I've been using that app for a very long time. Like I've shared before, the first time that I lost weight was not a healthy way. And so I had a bad relationship with that app at the beginning and calorie counting. But once I like learned how to do it in a healthy way, it made an entire difference for me. So yes, I did calculate like for my body and weight and height and all that, how much like my calorie deficit should be and i did try my best to go by it i did track my meals as much as possible um and honestly even if i was like gonna go out to eat that night and night like shit i tracked it who cares even if i saw that little negative sign that makes you want to feel like shit fuck it you know that i know that we know that we're not gonna eat like that every day you know and who cares you know the app is just there to let you know it's not shaming you it's just a number again it's all in our heads when we decide to correlate like numbers to negative feelings just finished one of joe's workouts she's still up there talking but um i wanted to add really quick into this video one other tip an extra bonus little tip is to follow women that look like you follow women that make you feel positive stop following the goal because that's that can be really damaging to your mental health without you realizing it because you're looking at these beauty standards and you're like damn i wish i could be there when the point is to just love yourself at the pace that you are and that's when you really start seeing the differences so yeah just wanted to add this extra one in there and then the last thing that i want to share with you guys is to stop guilt tripping yourself for eating like i shared in the last tip it does not matter if you fall through a day get invited somewhere to eat just just eat just eat you're it's totally okay if you go to a birthday party eat the damn cake i personally don't like cake which is why i i will probably stay away from it ice cream cake though but don't let it get to you when you want to eat. I had plenty of nights where I wanted to get birria tacos late at night. And I wanted my chip run. Those of you guys that know me, I am huge on chips and hot Cheetos. And that's definitely something I'm working on. But there's like ways to go around it that I did to be able to eat my Cheetos and lose the weight. So I'll let you guys know what that is in a different video. So yeah, that was pretty much all the things that I did throughout my weight loss journey and I'm still continuing to do to reach where I want to be. Again, I'm not claiming that this is a weight loss guide. I'm not claiming that this is exactly what's going to get you there, but I hope that it motivates you to partake in a new hobby or next time you see stairs in an elevator, you think about me and go, hmm, she probably want me to take the stairs and then take the stairs, girl. Again, a weight loss journey is not just about losing the weight. It is about the things you do to get there. That's why it is called a journey. As cheesy as it sounds, it's true. It's the little changes that you make in your lifestyle that really, really shapes you into who you are. And when you lose that weight, you realize that you're a whole new person. It's like you're really shedding out of an old skin. And that's the progress we're trying to make. <sighs> all right, you guys, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, I would really appreciate if you clicked below to subscribe and like the video and share maybe if you want to let your friends know. That would be really fucking dope of you. <laughs> With that being said, thank you guys so much again and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.